I've spent over four years when it comes to learning how the YouTube algorithm behaves. And over those four years, I was working with a YouTube channel that started from absolutely nothing to a channel that started getting 350,000 views per month, as well as 6,000 new subscribers per month. But I started to ask myself, if I can help generate these kind of results for this channel, then why don't I just start my own YouTube channel? And so I set off on a journey to get 1,000 subscribers in six months. So I started the YouTube channel, and after seven uploads, I found myself at over 10,000 subscribers. The best part is, is that all of this happened in two months. So how did I do it, you know? How did I 10x my subscriber goal in four less months? Well, one of the big reasons this channel blew up so fast is because I used ChatGPT. You see, before ChatGPT, I would have to do all of the SEO and publishing aspects on my own, but with ChatGPT, it added a whole new element to the game of YouTube. And I found the best way to engineer my prompts in order to hack the YouTube algorithm, and I wanna share some of those with you here today. Now, before we get into this video, very quickly, just go down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for me too. I would appreciate it so much. By the time you scroll back up, the video will be starting. So let's get into it. So how did I manage to use these chat GPT prompts that I came up with like this in order to get results like this with only 150 subscribers on my YouTube channel? I'm going to show you in this video how I did so, but I want to mention that this is only one video on my channel. And when I uploaded this, once again, I only had 150 subscribers. Of course, I had to do the filming and the research on myself, but the video idea, the video description, the video title, the video tags, and everything in between came from ChatGPT. And like I said, I've been doing YouTube for a very long time, and prior to ChatGPT, results like this did not happen. In this video, I want to show you how I use these prompts that I've created in order to generate better content that's going to rank on YouTube, and in order to get it out faster so you can create more content. Now, throughout this video, you will be seeing me use this PDF when I explain things. Um, the reason I use this PDF is because it keeps all my prompts in one place. I can click into video optimization, and then I can click into one of these for whatever prompt I'm needing at the time. So it helps keep me organized and it helps streamline my workflow. If at any point in this video, you wanna get your hands on this ebook with 53 YouTube growth prompts, what you can do is use the link in the description in order to purchase that. So if you do purchase now, you're going to get all future updates for free and all new prompts that I come out with. But if you do not wanna purchase that PDF, that's perfectly fine. This video is still going to be a value to you and I'm going to show you how you can rank on YouTube using ChatGPT. Let's get into it. So let's say I want to create a new YouTube video and I'm struggling to come up with ideas for content. What I will do is click into here and then I have all sorts of video topics that I can create videos from. I'm going to go to video ideas and use this prompt in order to start generating me some video ideas based on my niche. So I'm going to click into this and now there is this prompt here for me to copy and paste into ChatGPT. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT and now I'm in ChatGPT and all I'm going to do is paste that prompt in. And then I just fill out the bracketed information. So generate me 10 YouTube videos for what niche am I in? Well, I'm in the artificial intelligence niche so I can put down artificial intelligence. Or if I wanna make videos on ChatGPT, for example, I could also put ChatGPT in this category. When I say your niche in these prompts, it doesn't necessarily have to be your niche, but what it can be is a topic that you wanna make videos on. Or if you do wanna put your niche, then that makes for great broad video ideas for your niche. So I'm just going to put artificial intelligence in ChatGPT. And if you want to, you can make this formatted a little bit better. It doesn't really matter though. ChatGPT will understand the question no matter what. And now that I have this prompt all filled out, what I can do is hit enter and it's going to generate me 10 video ideas. And not only is it going to generate the video ideas, but at least with GPT-4, what it's going to do is give a description about what the video could be about and what you need to do within that video. Now that ChatGPT has created 10 original video ideas, what I can do next is go through and take a look at videos that I'd be comfortable with creating. For example, I probably would not be comfortable creating ChatGPT in the kitchen, AI generated fusion recipes for unique culinary experiences. Um, I'm not that great of a cook and I don't know if I'm gonna take AI in my kitchen quite yet. But one video I could definitely get behind is ChatGPT takes on world records, AI solves the most complex puzzles. This video says to challenge ChatGPT to solve a variety of world record puzzles such as the largest Sudoku or most complex Rubik's Cube and document the problem solving process. So this could be a video that I would like creating. I could also like creating a video where it's artificial intelligence, the ultimate life coach. And the thing is, you do not have to stop after you type in this initial prompt. What you can do is you can say, I don't like these video ideas, generate me 10 more. And what it's going to do is generate you 10 more. 
Now, it's important to be as specific as possible when you're asking ChatGPT for these ideas. And what I mean by being specific is you need to tell ChatGPT the types of videos you want if you're not liking the ones that it's generating you. So if you don't like these video ideas, maybe say, generate me 10 more video ideas, but make these videos targeted towards high school and college students. So maybe I want college and high school students to be my demographic for my YouTube channel, or maybe that is my current demographic, and I want these videos to be more curated towards them. So then you can send it off, and what it's going to do is generate videos at your request. So already right off the bat, the first video that comes up with is Mastering Exam Prep with ChatGPT, AI's Ultimate Study Guide. So ChatGPT generated 10 more video ideas towards this different demographic. You can be as specific as you want with this. You can keep telling it to generate you video ideas until you find videos with good keywords on YouTube and a video that you would be comfortable with creating and researching. So now let's say that I liked this video idea. ChatGPT takes on world records. AI solves the most complex puzzles. What I would do is copy this title and now I'm going to paste it into my input. And the next step of my video creation process would be researching. But before I do my researching, I always like getting an intro out there so I can kind of have some confidence when I'm going into my researching process and just so I can make that video set in stone before I start creating it. So now what I could do is go back to my video creation category and find the engaging intros tab. I could then click on engaging intros and where it says your topic, I could replace with my video title. And then that would create a great engaging intro script for my YouTube video. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to head back over to ChatGPT and then I'm going to paste that prompt at the beginning of the input. And I'm just going to delete this back half of the sentence where it says your topic. And I'm going to put the period at the end. And once again, if you want to, you can make this look pretty, but it doesn't really matter how you make it look. ChatGPT will still generate you the results you want. And now I'm going to send it off. And what it's going to do is create me a base foundation of an intro that's engaging and not only that, but it's going to give you certain dialogue that you can go along with it. So as you can see, it's generated this awesome intro that I can now use in my video and it completely takes out the thinking of what am I going to say that's going to be engaging for my audience. ChatGPT does all that work for you. Then you can copy and paste it into your note taking software or wherever you keep your video scripts. And again, you don't have to have this video be based on whatever ChatGPT tells you to make this video on. If you don't want to do the world's largest Sudoku puzzle or intricate Rubik's cube puzzle, then you can change those out for different topics. What I'll do next is I'll dive in and do all the research and all the filming myself. But what I can do is I can also create a script for the entire video using some of those prompts. If you're someone who likes reading a script rather than going off the top of your head, then maybe you could create video scripts with ChatGPT for your YouTube content. Now, the next important part of this process is video optimization, which I have prompts for as well. And if you look back on any of my old videos and go to all the descriptions, you'll notice that every single description was generated with ChatGPT. And most likely the titles were too. So after I'm done with the video creation process, next I'll go to my video optimization tab where it's short but sweet. So within video optimization, I can do my keyword research. I can do my video titles. I can do my video descriptions, tags, thumbnail guide, end screen setup for good engagement. And this is what helps keep my videos up and running. So let's say I just get done filming a video. I've uploaded the video, but now it's time to make the video description. And I don't want to spend 30 minutes researching keywords, doing SEO myself, when I can just have ChatGPT do it for me with the correct prompt. So what I'm going to do is go into my video optimization tab, and then I'm going to copy and paste my prompt head over to ChatGPT, and I'm going to paste in the prompt into the input box here. And next, what I'm going to do is replace topic with the title of my video. So I'm going to copy and paste this title where it says topic, and then I'm going to send off my prompt in order to create an engaging and SEO friendly description for my YouTube video. And this is one of my favorite prompts that I've come up with because not only does it take the thinking out of it, but it actually does the SEO for you. And GPT-4 has gotten very good at adding emojis and making this engaging. So now it's generated this whole description from scratch. What I can do is I can just copy and paste that into my YouTube video description. And even though that this probably won't line up with your exact video, what it's done is it's give you a foundation. It's giving you a frame of what you can do and put in your description. So then you could just go out and replace these chapters with the actual timestamps and the actual title of what you want the chapter to be. It did go a little bit overboard on the hashtags, but what this does is it gives you a choice, you know, what are the most trending keywords right now? And that's kind of for you to do since ChatGPT is limited on current events and current knowledge. So I would use a tool like vidIQ if you wanna do a little bit of keyword research yourself. But ChatGPT for me has done a wonderful job when it comes to making these engaging video descriptions and video tags.
For example, if we take a look at my video where I introduce GPT-4 and go into the details, ChatGPT has generated this three paragraph SEO friendly description, which in my opinion definitely helped this video rank when GPT-4 was first coming out. And once again, not every single video is going to rank using this method, but it's a win-win situation in my opinion, because not only are you getting a better chance to rank using these SEO friendly titles, descriptions, but you're also saving so much time using ChatGPT to get rid of the thinking within the content creation. All you need to do is research and film. Before you had to think of video titles, think of scripts, think of descriptions, think of tags, you had to think of all this stuff. But with ChatGPT, it's become much more quick and much more powerful. So if you enjoyed this video with how to rank on YouTube using ChatGPT, please drop a like and subscribe really quick. I would highly appreciate it. And hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button down there because if you wanna see videos like this and you wanna be the first one to watch it, first one to gain all this valuable information, then uh, you'll be notified every time I create a new video. So once again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.